Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Fessler. I'm the Associate Dean of Enrollment here at Hudson County Community College. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Doherty, the Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment at HCCC. I wanna thank you all for uh, joining with us today and for this video. Uh, these are the most commonly asked questions uh, at Hudson County Community College. And we're gonna go over the top 10 today. And we'll be going back and forth, answering questions and having a conversation uh, to hopefully get you the information uh, that you need in, about enrolling at Hudson County Community College. So to kick it off, I'm gonna ask Lisa, uh, if you could answer the question, what has HCC been doing during the pandemic to support students? Sure. So as everyone knows, we were suddenly forced to move all of our instruction and support services off campus in mid-March. And we really weren't prepared for that, but I have to commend our students and our faculty and staff for making the transition fairly quickly and seamlessly. We know students um, had a lot of needs during this time that were unprecedented. So what we did is we kept our food pantries open on both campuses, even though all other offices have been closed, we've kept our pantries open for students who need food and supplies. We also purchased 650 Chromebooks to loan to students who didn't have access to reliable technology to take their online and remote courses. We were also fortunate to receive over $4 million from the CARES Act um, to award to students in need of emergency funding if they had unexpected expenses due to campus disruptions. So we awarded um, about 3,000 students over $2.5 million so far, and we are continuing to support students in need. And then finally, we froze tuition for the new academic year. We know that students at this point um, don't need any other financial burdens, so we kept tuition at the same rate as the prior year. We also allowed students to register even if they had prior balances and giving them a little bit more time to pay. So really, we're be, we've been as responsive as we can, and as students do request things or ask questions, um, we are certainly addressing those on a case-by-case -case basis. So Matt, my question to you is, what if I am hesitant to take an online class at HCCC? Uh, and that is a great question, and it's a question a lot of students are asking right now uh, during the current pandemic. We certainly know uh, while a lot of uh, online coursework for some individuals is not for everyone, uh, but with that being said, we are confident you will find the online experience at HCC rewarding. First and foremost, as Lisa mentioned, we are offering students Chromebooks if they do not have a computer, so there's no need to worry if you do not have an accessible, accessible computer at home. We also have a very detailed orientation on how to use our online platforms and systems. All of our support services, including tutoring, are all online to continue to support you through your online coursework. Uh, furthermore, we continue to enhance our training for our faculty and staff uh, to, enhance, to really enhance their online uh, learning and support as well. You know, in, in, in spring, when the pandemic hit, it was really sprung on us really fast. Uh, but fall, this fall is, is, is much different. Uh, we have much more time to prepare for the transition to remote coursework. Uh, and that's something we are preparing for right now as we speak. You will have the option between synchronous and asynchronous classes. Asynchronous uh, means that most work is completed on a student's own time, uh, really on their own schedule, uh, meaning it's fully online. There are no set times that you meet. Synchronously uh, means that students will be attending class remotely or, or virtually at the time the class is scheduled. So you still get that interaction, you still meet with your classmates, you still meet with your professor one-on-one. Regardless of what you choose, I am confident you will find the engagement online similar to the type of engagement you would find in the classroom. As the world you know, continues to become more and more dependent on technology, remote and online coursework will continue to become more prevalent. And this may actually be the perfect time for you to try an online course if you never have before. Uh, it may just surprise you how great it really is. So with that being said, Lisa, if I need to enroll right now, how would I do that if right now the campus is closed due to the pandemic? Yes, so as soon as we are able, uh, and as soon as we are given instructions from state and healthcare officials, we will be moving our campus operations back on campus, of course, following all health and safety protocols, social distancing, et cetera. But in the time being, uh, that should not stop students from moving forward with the application and enrollment process. Every single service 
that is offered on campus at our college is now offered remotely. So at the end, uh, Matt's going to show you a slide with different phone numbers that you can call and text, but there's a certain site that you can go to that has a link to literally every service, whether it's libraries, tutoring, to apply to the college, taking your placement tests, or getting placed into college classes, um, registration, advising, mental health counseling, you name it, we have a link for it. That site is www.hcc edu forward slash remote services. So again, www.hccc.edu forward slash remote services. Our admissions office and our enrollment office and our advising office, even though we're not physically on the campus, I can promise you we are working as hard, if not harder, remotely from our homes to make sure you have access to the services that you need. So please don't hesitate to call us, text us, email us when you see that contact information uh, at the end. And we look forward to helping you enroll this fall. All right, so Matt, next question is, how much does it cost to attend HCCC? Uh, so obviously money is always a very important thing when you're pursuing uh, your educational dreams and the different institutions you're looking at. I'm very excited to announce our, you know, president recently made the announcement about freezing our tuition. Uh, and this is really to help support our students during the current pandemic. Uh, what that really means is our tuition remains the same for the uh, 2020 to 2021 academic year. And that's the same as it was in the 2019, 2020 academic year. Uh, so what that means uh, is that per credit, our credit remains the same at $149, uh, $149 per credit for in-county residents. It's $298 per credit for out-of-county residents, and it's $440 for international or out-of-state uh, uh, students, and that's per credit. You can save a significant amount of money, uh, easily less than half the cost of attending a school, uh, a public school like Rutgers University as an in-state student. Uh, additionally, more than 80% of our students receive financial aid uh, and or scholarships, which really shows that they are getting the funding they need to pursue their educational dreams. And since I'm on the topic of scholarships, uh, the next uh, question I have for you, Lisa, what scholarships are available at Hudson County Community College? Great question. We have a lot of scholarships. So the two primary scholarships that I'll talk about are the um, government scholarship and the, free, the foundation scholarship. So we start with the government scholarship. This is for students who are new to HCCC and it covers the full cost of tuition and fees for their entire degree. Um, this is funded. We're very, very thankful to our freeholders who fund this for us each year. Secondly, we have our foundation scholarships, which are generously funded by our foundation and their fundraising. And these are, there's many foundation scholarships. They range in value and they are open to primarily continuing students. And some of these scholarships are merit-based, some are need-based. Each requires a really short statement from a student just stating how the scholarship will help you to achieve your educational goals. Both of those scholarships have the same application, and we make sure we evaluate you for whichever is in your best interest. All of our scholarships can be found at www.hccc.edu forward slash scholarships. In addition to the foundation and government scholarships, which are especially helpful for our dreamers and undocumented students, we have a plethora of other scholarships that are um, external to HCCC. It just takes a little bit of time and effort and digging to find the ones that you're eligible for, but this is the time to do it. When you're home, uh, you can be on your computer and looking for these additional funding sources. But there's definitely scholarship money available for students who either are not eligible for financial aid or still have a gap in their funding for their tuition and fees. Matt, my question for you next is, oh, what is the Community College Opportunity Grant? Yeah, so some of you may have heard of the Community College Opportunity Grant, uh, and some of you may not be so sure what it is. Uh, and this is actually a, a New Jersey State program that allows uh, eligible students to attend Hudson County Community College tuition-free. Uh, and it's also known, often referred to, you may hear it referred to as CCOG, which again stands for the Community College Opportunity Grant. 
The biggest eligibility requirement is you must have uh, an AGI, uh, uh, adjusted gross income, uh, household income between zero and $65,000. Uh, so that's usually the biggest eligibility requirement. Uh, you must also apply for financial aid uh, and you must enroll for a minimum of six credits. There are a few things to note. Um, uh, CCOG will cover up, as I said before, the full cost of tuition and certain approved educational fees. Uh, CCOG will cover up to 18 credit hours. And then lastly, CCOG is a last dollar scholarship. Therefore, the full amount of all state, federal, institutional, and community aid received by the student shall be applied to the tuition and approved educational fee charges to reduce the amount of the CCOG award. In layman's term, what that means is you have to apply for financial aid first and take any grants uh, that you've been awarded. Uh, anything, anything that is left over to cover your tuition would then be covered by the uh, CCOG grant. Uh, so we've been talking a lot about money um, and you know our tuition, scholarships, um, the CCOG grant. Uh, Lisa, could you tell us a little bit about what degrees or programs are offered at Hudson County Community College? Sure, absolutely. So we have more than 60 certificate and degree programs in all of the high demand um, degree, um, fields that lead to a family sustaining wage and lead to a productive career. So our programs are broken down into what we call meta majors. These are sort of clusters of study areas. So I'm going to tell you about the meta majors. And if one of those sounds interesting, we probably have a major that's going to really interest you. So first we have nursing and health sciences, of course, uh, for anyone who wants to get into that wonderful helping profession. Second, we have STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We have a couple really great new programs in that area like cybersecurity and construction management. We also have business, culinary, and hospitality. So if you're someone who likes to cook and you've always wanted to be in one of our wonderful kitchens, uh, that would be a good meta major for you or of course business. We have liberal and visual arts, so for students who really want to learn uh, writing or visual arts or theater or uh, digital design, that's a wonderful um, place to major and gives you a lot of different transfer opportunities. And the last one is humanities and social sciences, so things like education, psychology, sociology, and uh, we, we can find a program for everyone. And what's great is that these programs are meant to fulfill your first two years. And then upon graduating, you can transfer to your dream four-year school to complete your bachelor's degree, often with some really generous scholarships. So Matt, how would um, students go about transferring to a four-year school after completing their associate's degree in one of our majors? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, the it, it's very easy to transfer to a four-year institution. Uh, not only will you have access to our advisors to ensure you're taking the appropriate coursework and are on track, but many of the schools we partner with have advisors uh, directly on our campus that will assist you with the transition um, between HCCC and their uh, and their school. Uh, while our students transfer to schools all over the U.S. and world, including some of the most prestigious, we also have direct dual admission programs with seven schools. Uh, those schools are uh, Kane University, Montclair, uh, New Jersey City University, St. Peter's University, Ramapo College, Fairleigh Dickinson University, and Rutgers University, Newark. Uh, dual admitted means you can be duly admitted to both schools, and after completing your associates at HCC, uh, you will seamlessly transfer to the institution. By being duly admitted, you not only get access to our campus, but for many of them, and depending on the agreement, you actually will receive a student ID on their campus to get access to many of their facilities as well. Uh, you, you also, and you also put yourself uh, in the most optimal position to ensure a seamless transfer. Furthermore, many of, uh, of them have transfer scholarships uh, and some that are directly, uh, uh, specifically at HCC uh, or community college students, which Lisa mentioned. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'm confident you will find the confidence in our transfer services and, e and the ease in making the transition uh, to another four-year institution. So you have a lot of support uh, from our advisors, from the advisors from the institutions uh, to you know, make that as easy on you as possible. Um, so really that it kind of feels like you do one, two at Hudson, and then you kind of go right into three, four at the other uh, institution of your choice. Um, so Lisa, you know, what kind of campus life is there at Hudson County Community College? We've been talking a lot about the support services, but I want to know about campus. What, 
what kind of student life is going on uh, in Jersey City and Union City where our two main campuses are located? Sure. So I'm glad you mentioned our two campuses because what I should have mentioned when I talked about our degree programs that students can complete their programs at our Journal Square campus, our Union City campus, and also at our new center, our Secaucus Center, which is located at Hudson County Schools of Technology in Secaucus. And we also have six fully online programs for students that really want to complete everything online. So in terms of student life, you know, if you've ever heard that if you go to a community college, there's no campus life, there's no student life, you don't get that experience, I am telling you that is a myth. And our student life and leadership team really does a great job of dispelling that myth. We have so many activities and opportunities for engagement on our campus. We have over 30 clubs that are student led and students can start their own clubs if they have an interest and they want to get a club going. It doesn't take a lot to do that. So our 30 clubs last year put on over 250 events just themselves. In addition, the Student Life team puts on about 200 events, and these range from things like, you know, Bagel Wednesdays, where you get free bagels, or Muffin Mondays, where you just stop in and grab a bite to eat, to full-on um, commencement formals and banquets and different festivities that are culturally related. They really try to appeal to the diversity of our student body. Um, we also have really robust um, honor societies. Our Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society is one of the top in the country and our students are really active in service learning and service work through that. We just finished construction on a brand new student center. In fact, it finished a couple of weeks after we had to leave our campus. So we're really excited to get back and have a grand opening for that. It's two stories, it has the lounge area, it has um, quiet areas, that's where our student life team will have their offices. The Student Government Association and our clubs have their own working space. There's a conference room, there's food service that's going to be absolutely delicious, a veterans lounge. So this is the first time in it's a very long time that our students will have a dedicated spot just for them on our campus. So I promise you, if you're someone who wants to get involved and you want to have that experience outside of the classroom, we have plenty to offer for you. You couldn't even get to all of the events if you tried. So you can be involved, you can be a club officer, a student government officer, and a peer leader. We have a wonderful peer leader program, an orientation program. So our students who take advantage of these things when they leave HCCC, they can't believe how much they were able to experience outside of the classroom. So don't believe the myth. There's lots to get involved in at our college. All right, Matt, I think this is the last question. What support services are offered at HCCC? Uh a lot. Um, there is a, probably not enough time for me to go through all of them, um, but there are all different types of support services offered here uh, from really the moment you start at Hudson all the way through graduation. Uh, first and foremost, um, I like to talk about with support services is our faculty and our small class sizes. Um, our our class sizes are, are generally around, give or take, around 20 students. So that really allows our faculty to get to know our, our student, the students in their class, get to know uh, their weaknesses and strengths and, you know, kind of identify areas that need to be worked on. Uh, so you get that really individualized one-on-one -on -one attention with a faculty member, uh, as opposed to some of these four-year institutions where the class sizes can be 100 to 200 students in one class. So although I know that is not directly a service, it's something I like to point out because uh, it really does add an extra layer of support for our students when they have these smaller class sizes and really get to know their professors. Uh, I'm going to name a few things here and just kind of go down a, a list of some of the support services. Uh, you know, learning communities is something that sticks right off the top of my head. Uh, learning communities is a cohort of students who really get individualized attention from assigned faculty that work with them, encourage them through their education at Hudson County Community College. Uh, we have a wonderful honors program, uh, which has unique programming. Uh, there are certain uh, perks and field trips and things that you get as well if you are able to be admitted into the honors program. We have a great advisement and counseling department. Uh, uh, advisement will continue to work with you in your academics, making sure you're on track. Uh, counseling, so mental health counseling, uh, making sure that we're there to assist you in a time of need. Uh, we have great library search, uh, services, 
Uh, and that's not just your typical going to library and grab a book, but there's um, access to a, a whole online database, research database, uh, paid content, uh, really a vast online infrastructure that provides students the educational resources they need, uh, in addition to even online textbooks as well. Uh, we have uh, great disability and accessibility services uh, to make sure individuals with disabilities needs are met. Uh, we have a great tutoring and writing center. Uh, this department has actually been recognized with awards in how they offer support to our students. Uh, and many of their services, I think, as I mentioned before, are online as well. We have our EOF program, uh, Educational Opportunity Fund, uh, which is for economically disadvantaged students to get unique support academically and financially. Uh, we've partnered with a, a, a uh, a par we've partnered with an organization called Year Up. Uh, they're a program we partnered uh, for, for students between the ages of 17 to 24 that gives them unique access to corporate partnerships and internships, uh, plus unparalleled support through their time here uh, in achieving their associate degree at Hudson. Uh, there's a lot of clubs and organizations. I think Lisa went over that, you know, pretty well. Uh, but there's a lot of d different clubs, and you know, depending on what your interest is um, or what you want to get involved with, there's a lot of support through those clubs and organizations as well, uh, and a lot of different resources that they provide. And then lastly, uh, serving and supporting our veterans is a priority at Hudson as well. I'm excited to say in our new student center, uh, we will be opening uh, when we return to campus, uh, we have a dedicated lounge area just for veterans. Uh, we also have a dedicated certifying official to assist with registration and any uh, veteran-related situations. Uh, we always allow our veterans to reg register first through our Veteran Priority Registration Program. Uh, we have a Veterans Honor Society and Club, uh, which allows us to continually engage with our, our veterans and continue to expand upon services that can make their educational journey rewarding. Uh, I'm, I'm probably missing some things. I don't know if you have anything to add, Lisa, um, but... That's in a nutshell, that seems like a, a good roundabout way to kind of go through our support services here. But uh, there are, there's much more than just that. Uh, so with that being said, those are our top 10 questions at Hudson County Community College right now. Um, I want to thank you for being with us today. And uh, thank you, Lisa, for joining us as well. Uh, we hope to do this again with you soon in the near future. And uh, what I'm going to do to end this uh, presentation with you today is just uh, share my screen and I'm going to put up a, just a quick PowerPoint slide that has our contact information. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us uh, at any point uh, through the week. We are open Monday through Friday uh, through this uh, entire summer. Uh, typically in the summer schedules, we are typically in the past, we've been closed on Fridays. This summer, we are remaining open uh, to help support our students this difficult time a lot of the challenges that are going on. So we are open Monday through Friday, um, 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. So feel free to reach out at any time. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, everyone.